Hey y'all, today we are going to do something I've never done before. We're gonna do a declutter video. I've decluttered stuff in the past, I've just never filmed it, and I figured I would film this one. I have a very small collection compared to some people because I just got into makeup about two years ago. I went a long time with not caring about makeup at all, and then I started getting BoxyCharm in June of 2021 and accumulated a lot of stuff, but periodically got rid of it over the last two years. Now I'm to the point where I haven't decluttered a lot in a while and I have no more room. I have an icon box sitting on my bed that I cannot, I can't put anything up because I just have no more room, especially in the two containers in the bottom. Those are all eyeshadow palettes. I have no more room to put more eyeshadow palettes in there. So we're gonna get rid of some stuff. Also, this is my very first declutter video and I'm also still very, very, very in that overindulgent makeup phase where I don't want to get rid of any of it, but I know I have to and I need to. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to force myself to get rid of stuff that I know I will not use, but it may not be as much as I hope slash want it to be. So please go easy on me. This is very new to me and I'm still trying to get rid of this feeling of wanting to like overconsumption and overindulgent like just give me more and more and more makeup i used to go to tj maxx and some of the stuff is from tj maxx i don't go there anymore because i know i have way more than enough makeup products to last anybody a lifetime we'll get through it those are like my makeup sponges and stuff and some brushes that i just don't have room for i have brushes there and there i like to keep them in little closed containers to where they don't get cat hair or dust on them i'm not gonna get rid of anything out of here and these are like those little color switch things. I'm gonna keep all of those. They come in handy. Just have a whole bunch of different makeup sponges. And I usually give some of these to my mom. So that's why I keep them. That way she doesn't have to buy new sponges or anything like that. She just comes to me and gets them. And then these are like my little hair clips that I use to keep the hair out of my face. My Dermaplane razor. This is like makeup remover, makeup cleaner. So I'm not getting rid of anything out of there. The top three are done. So we're just going to start from the last three tiers. Okay, these are like highlighters. I'm not getting rid of any of these because they're like body highlights. This is like a little nail kit. I'm going to keep that. And then this is like it's for lash extensions and stuff, but... I do lashify lashes. I like being able to see like the lash cleavage is what we call it. With this, it's really cute. These also work fantastic as tweezers. I am gonna get rid of most of these though. I'm gonna keep the lashify ones. I don't do face masks at all. I kept telling myself, oh, maybe one day I'll use it. Maybe one day that day has not come. We are gonna declutter those. I'll show you these real quick. They're pretty. I'm not gonna swatch them or anything like that, but I wanna show them. All right, and here's the little highlighters. I mean, that bottle is just adorable. I can't get rid of that. It's just a really pretty blue highlight. It is really pretty. You can kind of see it there on the little plastic. There's a purple one. I think these kind of like went viral on TikTok, but I don't know. I watch a lot of YouTube then more than I do TikToks. The only one I could see myself getting rid of is this gold one just because my skin tone doesn't really go well with gold. We're gonna keep it for now. I just like the fun blue and purple highlights. They're just fun. So I'm gonna keep them just, you know, for summertime. You can flick them all over your body and hair and just get a really good glow. We're definitely keeping all of these. Okay, next is some like glitter and this little body illuminator. This is actually kind of cool. I don't usually use big chunky glitters like this, but it's nice to have in case you're going out to like a concert or something in the summertime. This actually glows in the dark. I'm gonna keep this. I don't usually use it, but I think it's cool because it does glow in the dark. This I'm definitely keeping just because I like the way it looks. It's a very pretty. I'm sorry, I love glitter. I don't usually wear glitter, but I like to have it around just in case. There's a time and place for glitter. And I just like the way that looks. It's so pretty, like the purple. It'd be a great like little highlight. Then this, Pat McGrath Body Shimmer. Honestly, I got this from TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. I don't even know if I've opened it. I've obviously opened it, but I don't, I have never worn it. And the problem is, is it's because it's Pat McGrath. I don't want to get rid of it. The other question is, is when am I actually going to wear it? I have stuff that I've I already, like those other highlighters that I just showed you are more my skin tone than this one. I mean, it would still be pretty, but 
I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile too with these because I'm not sure. Face and body glitters. That one's really pretty because it's kind of like the blue and teal turquoise color. I like that. It's cute. Then you got a holographic one, which I'll probably also keep. There's a time and place for glitter. I love glitter. I don't use it that often, like I said, but I do love glitter. I love glitter. I love shimmer. It's just fun. This is the one I may get rid of because it's just blue and it just like changes to silver. There's not really much of a shift. Like that one is like blue, green, and teal, and then that one's holographic, so it's more rainbow. This one is just blue, so I may get rid of that one. We're gonna go through all of like the smaller tubs first and then save the two eyeshadow big tubs and the blush, bronzer, and highlight bigger tub for the end. Let's go through this one. This is the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder. I'm definitely keeping this. I really like it. The puff that it comes with feels absolutely amazing. It's such good quality. I know this is like a ride or die for a lot of people. People love this powder because it's cheap and it actually is really good. But I'm probably going to give this to my mom because she really loves the Cody Airspun powder. Like that's one of her favorites. She's been using it for years. So I'll probably give this to my mom. I have the Rare Beauty. This is just their little thing that has powder in it already right here. And then some blotting sheets. Definitely going to keep this because I like to, when I do wear makeup, I like to have this for touch-ups for blotting and then adding more powder if I need it. So I'm definitely keeping that. We have this little dewy set setting spray. I don't really use setting sprays that much, so that's going to go somewhere else. Also have the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. It's okay. I mean, it's good. I haven't really used it enough to know 100% whether I love it or not. So we're going to keep it. And here we have the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is their light catcher one that's like different setting powder than their just regular one. I haven't even tried it yet, so I'm definitely keeping it. Hourglass Bell setting powder. Definitely keeping this because this is like one of my all-time favorite powders ever. And the little one, this one, has lasted me forever. I definitely want to get a full size of it, but I'm not going to do that just because it is so expensive. I'm definitely keeping the small one because I still have quite a bit left. It's not going anywhere. We have a full size of the dewy set. I'm going to get rid of the smaller one, but I am going to keep the bigger one. We have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Definitely keeping this too. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm getting rid of some stuff. I'm not going to be perfect at getting rid of a lot of stuff yet, but I'm doing my best. And then we have the Rodeal Soft Focus Glow Drops Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. That's a, probably a maybe again. Illuminate, glow, and be radiant. I don't like to be completely matte, like super, super matte. I like a little bit of glow. Maybe this could help with that. Okay, we're gonna maybe probably keep this. At least I got rid of two products out of here. It's better than what I've done in the past. Okay, now we're gonna go through foundation, primer, concealer, and brow products. Okay, we're gonna start with this. I got this on Amazon and it was supposed to be in the shade two, light with cool undertones, and they sent me the wrong shade. I'm gonna give this to someone that can actually use it. The Yenza Super Serum Silk Foundation. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I got it in an Ipsy. It's just fantastic. It's not super, super thick and cakey like I used to like my foundations. I mean, I've used quite a bit of it. It just feels really, really nice on the skin and not super heavy, which I like. There's a time and place for thicker foundations and it's just not what I'm into right now. We are going to keep that. So that's declutter, that's keep. And then we have a Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. I'm going to get rid of this because it is so thick that it barely comes out of the tube. It's going bye-bye. And we have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Definitely keeping this. It's just the baby one. Tatcha is one of my favorite skincare brands. So I'm definitely keeping that. And I got the dupe for it, which is the Poreless Putty Primer. I'm also keeping this because I do like to use this one a little bit more just because the Tatcha one is so expensive and I don't have the full size of it. So I've been using this one more than that. And a classic 
Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. Definitely keeping that. It's a fantastic concealer. And we have these two little Wet n Wild correcting palettes. I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't use those at all. I'm going to give them to someone else. And then we have the Item Beauty Concealer. It's a really good concealer. Like, Item Beauty ended up being a hit Ipsy brand. It's not a brand anymore. It's no longer around. But I do like the products that, that I still have. So I'm not going to get rid of this because it is a very good concealer. No Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul. This is a fantastic primer. Definitely keeping this. It's one of my holy grail primers. And we have a Too Faced Brow Pencil. I got it from TJ Maxx. I'm still learning how to do brows. So I'm going to keep all of my brow products because I do want to learn. I just haven't gotten there yet. We have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Definitely keeping this because I do want to learn how to do brows. I just still need to keep teaching myself. We have the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have only tried this once and it didn't react well with that foundation. So I'm going to keep it and try it with some other foundations that I have and see if I like it. But this could be a potential declutter in maybe six months from now if I don't use it or find that it works with another foundation. We're going to keep that for now. And we have this Dr. Brandt Backlight Primer. I'm probably going to get rid of this. I've never used it. I got it in a boxy charmer in Ipsy and I've never used it. And then we have the ABH Concealer. It's good. It does kind of make me look a little dry under the eyes. And you can see the little lines when I use this concealer. I'm still going to keep it. I may declutter it later. We have the NYX the marshmallow primer. I've heard really good things about it, but as you can see, I've never even opened it yet, so I'm not sure. Maybe we should keep it and I can try it. And again, if I don't use it in the next six months, I'll get rid of it. And then we have the Dominique Blur and Moisture Serum Primer. Probably gonna keep this too, because again, I've never tried it. No, it's like a hydrating primer. I think I could use that. I wanna keep that just to test it out, but we'll come back to that in six months. We have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I've tried it once, but I just think it's in a really light shade for me, but that was all they had. So I'm gonna keep it just because I don't have a lot of foundations. I think I have like Enza, this one, and two more. I'm gonna keep it. You have the Good Apple Foundation Balm. I'm still debating on this. I'm gonna keep it again. It's in a light 004, which is more for warm tones, and I think I'm more cool to neutral than warm. I also haven't actually ever done a full face with it yet. We're going to keep it just because I don't have a lot of foundations. I have like four, and this is the last foundation that I have is the Locket Foundation by KVD. I just don't use foundations like this anymore that much because of how much full coverage it is. I do like full coverage, but I like a lighter full coverage. It doesn't feel cakey or heavy on the skin, but again, I'm still going to keep that. I just got this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I haven't even tried it yet, so we're going to keep it. We'll revisit in six months. I'm not doing too well on this bucket, and I know I'm also probably going to have issues with the eyeshadow palette bucket and the highlighters and stuff because I love highlighters so freaking much. These dip brows are the ones that I may get rid of. Maybe I just keep like the medium brown. Maybe we just get rid of these. I know I'm not gonna use them. So hard. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Three brow pencils. Got a soft brown, a medium brown, and a dark brown. So we're probably gonna keep all of these just so I can test which one looks the best with my brows and then in six months get rid of whichever ones don't look the best with my brows if I learn how to do brows within the next six months. We've got this Brow Basics Brow Kit in dark brown. Maybe I get rid of this dark brown and then just keep this one and then get rid of that. Keep. Don't judge me, please. Get rid of. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Now we're gonna go through all of the single shadows and eyeliners and eyeshadow primers. So going to keep these, it's the same color. It's just, a, it was a two pack and they're just little glitter eyeliner things. And I love glitter and shimmer. So we're definitely keeping those. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This was a free product when I actually ordered from ABH, like, oh my God, maybe three years ago. Don't judge me. I have, a problem and I know it and it's not getting rid of the makeup that I know I'm never gonna wear. I've used it once and I did not like the way it looked. Don't get me wrong, I love Icy White 
pigment usually, but I, the way I used it, I just didn't like it. And I know I'm probably never gonna use it again, so it can go to a home that would actually use it. What are you doing, Trouble? Cutie. Next we have this little Trust Fund Beauty, a little single eyeshadow. It's cute, kind of like a green gun metal color. It's pretty, so definitely gonna keep that one. We have a BH Cosmetics Glitter and Shadow Glue. I don't really have a glitter glue, so I may keep this. I have eyeshadow primers, but nothing that specifically says glitter and shadow glue. So I don't know if like it has to be specifically like glitter glue to hold glitter and or primer would do the same. I'm gonna keep that. And we have one of my favorite eyeshadow bases. It's from Ace Beauté and it's absolutely phenomenal. It actually does have some pigment to it. So it cancels out all the like little veins and stuff in my eyes, which I love. Definitely keeping that. We have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I like to use this one when I do just like a shimmer look. This one doesn't have like a color or anything to the base. It's just like clear. So I'm definitely keeping that. And here we have a Beauty Vault Mascara. Definitely getting rid of this because I don't use mascara. I use Lashified Lashes, so I have no use for this. And then we have a Juvia's Place, a Duochrome Liquid Shadow. This thing is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite ways to create a look is like either do a blue or a pink purple look and then put this down and then put ColourPop's Eye Stream on top of it. It's stunning. Definitely keeping this. It's not going anywhere. And then we have the Stila liquid eyeshadow. I don't know if I want to keep this or not. I know it was all the rage there for a while, but I just don't use this color enough to justify keeping it. I'm not big on neutrals and this is just like a brown silver glitter. So I think I need to get rid of it. Even though I know a lot of people loved these, I just, that's not my favorite color. Okay, we have some issues with this. I'm gonna keep it because it's still fine. I'm gonna keep it until it <laughs> dries out on me. But right now it's fine. But I, they're absolutely freaking stunning. But the way they look on the eye and crease, they're just weird. But I can't get rid of it because it was like $25, $30 for this little bitty jar. And I just can't justify throwing it away yet. No idea what this is. Like a black shimmer, single loose eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. I have no idea where I even got this from. No idea. That's uh, going to a better home. And then we have this little Revlon color charge. I don't even know where I got this, but I do like to put this on top of an eyeshadow look for like a shimmer shade. And it gives that little reflective like pinky purple. It is really pretty. It's just messy. I've had it forever, so I probably need to get rid of it because I have a lot of shadows that do that same thing. So we're gonna part with that. That's hard, but we're gonna do it. And then we have the Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow. We're gonna get rid of this. This one's an Ice Latte just because that's not my color at all. It's a bronzy gold brown. It's not for me. I like pinks, purples, blues, greens, icy, silvers. Those are my shades like this like silver. We're definitely keeping that because it's beautiful. We have a Wonder Beauty. It is really, really pretty, but I mean, again, like I just said, I'm not going to use it. Not a color story that I'm a fan of. So, and I know myself well enough to know that I would just never use it. It's going to go somewhere else. Then we have a Jason Wu. It's really pretty. It's kind of like got a pink shift to it. I'm probably gonna keep that. We've got a little LA Girl blue glitter. Definitely keeping this because I love glitter. I can't say no. Look at it. There it goes. Oh, that's cute. I love it. I saw this. I know like I've just said that browns and stuff are not my color, but I do have neutral palettes that I am planning on keeping. I'm definitely keeping this because it's just like a glitter. Tati tried this and I fell in love with it when I saw it. Even though it's not something that I would normally go for, I love glitter and it looked so pretty on Tati's eyes, I had to have it. I'm definitely keeping this. And we have just a little glitter eyeliner, liner, liquid eyeshadow, but it's like a liner. So we're gonna keep this. And I got this on Amazon. This is like a lying silkworm pin, which I had absolutely no idea what that was until I researched it. And I love this pen. It's just like a little highlight 
kind of like a sparkly shade. It is stunning. Let me do a swatch real quick. We're definitely keeping this because it's so cute. It's right there. Like it gives the most beautiful like reflective glow like on the inner corners or just like on the tip of your nose if you want to just do a little tiny tiny highlight and blend it out on the tip of your nose. I love it. I think it's super cute. I'm definitely keeping that. Stick shadows. They're really pretty. They're both shimmers. I haven't even tried them out yet. Definitely keeping those. We've got this Danessa Myricks. I got this in a trend mood box, like a mystery box. It's beautiful, but I'm just not big on yellow. I'm going to keep it just to see and give it another six months and see if I can figure out a way to use it. But if I don't, it's going to somewhere else. Then one of my all-time favorite pencil liners is the Cake Pencil by KVD. But I don't even know if they make this anymore. So I'm very sad that this is all I have because it tight lines so freaking well. I don't put liner in my waterline much anymore because it makes my eyes look a lot smaller than they already are. So I just tight line and this is absolutely fantastic at tight lining. I love it. And then we have a ColourPop cream gel liner in white. I'm still going to keep this because it's the only white liner I have. And I know that some eyeshadow looks do look really good with white in the waterline. So we're going to keep that. All right, and here are all my other pencil liners. I'm definitely keeping all of these because I do like pencil liners for tight lining. This is our Persona one from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. It is a fantastic black liner, amazing at tight lining as well. This is a Re Reina, another fantastic eyeliner for tight lining. Definitely keeping both of those. And then Lovecraft Beauty Gel Eye Pencil, another great for tight lining. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. It's not their, I think Perversion is their darkest black. And I got this in a little kit from TJ Maxx for really, really cheap. But I haven't even tried it yet, so I don't know how dark it is or how not dark it is. So I'm going to keep it and still test that out. And then we just have a little Revlon Color Stay eyeliner. So keeping all those. And the ones we're going to get rid of. All liquid liners. I can't do a wing to save my damn life. I'm just not steady enough. I've tried brush tips. I've tried felt tips. When I try to do liquid liner, my hands shake ridiculously bad. Also, my eyelids are not that big. So when I do a really big, bold eye look, if I did a wing, it would take away from the eyeshadow. So I just tight line with a pencil and I'm good to go. So we're getting rid of all these liquid liners. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because some of them I have used and I don't like to share eye stuff just because of how easily it can spread like eye infections and stuff. And I don't want to do that. No, I've never tried this one. I've never tried this one. So these two I'll probably pass along. And I don't think I've tried that one. And these are the ones that I've actually physically tried on my eyes before and that are at least a year or two old by this point. So I think we're just going to throw them away. That's the keep, that's the get rid of. Slowly but surely, I will be getting rid of stuff. And in six more months, we'll go through all this again and I'll get rid of more stuff. Now we are going to go on to my lip products. I have so many lip products, it's not even funny. A lot of them came from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. And I know some of the stuff came from Amazon too. I need to declutter a lot of this lip stuff because some of the stuff I will never use and I know it. So let's get started. The first thing is, is these little lip tint tint. I'm showing my southern side. <laughs> Lip tints. I'm gonna keep them because they're really cool. They have like the product in there and then you break the q-tip and then it like goes down and they do really tint your lips and it does give a really nice color. It would be really pretty to put this on and then put like a gloss over it. Those are not for Riker. <laughs> You're, those are not for you. Thank you very much. It's not for you. Excuse you. <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely keeping those. These were just some Amazon thing that I got. Color that it gives your lips is absolutely beautiful, but I just can't get over the smell. It smells like chemicals and plastic. I just can't handle that. The pink it gives your lips is beautiful, but in it's just cheap packaging. Yeah, we're gonna declutter these. Another Amazon random purchase because I thought they looked cute because they kind of have like this iridescent to them and it kind of goes like a shade of pink. 
but I just, again, can't get over the smell. They are really cute. They got that like iridescent and they turn like a pink color. No, <laughs> that's not for you. He did not like the smell of those either. We're gonna declutter those. One of my favorite things though are lip oils. I love lip oils and lip glosses. We're definitely keeping these. It's just another lip oil or gloss, lip plumper gloss. I like lip glosses, so we're gonna keep that. This, it doesn't go on green. It does go on like a pink color, which is really pretty, but this stained the hell out of my lips to the point where a cleansing oil, a cleansing balm, makeup remover, makeup wipes, nothing would get the stain off, nothing. And I was left with permanently hot pink lips for a few days. Did not like that. It was a beautiful color, but I just did not want my lips stained for that long. That one's going over there. Some of these I haven't even used and I need to figure out which ones I haven't so I can actually give them away to some people. If I have used them, they're not going to anybody. I'm not gonna give used lip products to someone else. Pretty colors, but I just know I will never use them. They're gonna go over there. And this is a pretty gloss. It actually feels really good on the lips too, so we're gonna keep that one. Then we just have a Fenty lip balm. I do like this. It, it feels absolutely amazing on the lips. And we have this other little Misho lip balm. I like having lip balms around because I really don't have a lot of them, so we're gonna keep that too. Here we have a liquid lip that is like bright freaking red. I think we're gonna keep it even though I really don't like it. I could always put like a red gloss over it because I do have a Tom Ford red gloss here. I mean, it would go really well together and it just wouldn't be a matte lip. I think I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm definitely keeping that Tom Ford one. That Tom Ford one is so luxury feeling. It's absolutely amazing. We're gonna keep them. Which one out of these do I wanna keep? Probably keep both of them actually. Cause I like the pinky shimmer, pretty pink gloss. Definitely keeping that. That's pretty, I'm keeping that. And this is an Amazon gloss that I actually really, really love. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it. It's just a clear gloss, but it has that little like silicone spatula type applicator. It does make your lips look really smooth and like no lines or anything like that. It kind of reminds me of this Lawless, forget the filler, a line smoothing gloss. It really does remind me of it because I love this stuff. The Lawless stuff is absolutely amazing. Like you will not have lip lines at all while you're wearing this gloss. And this one was very similar. So I'm definitely keeping both of those. And I got on Amazon, but I love it. It is so pretty. It gives a really nice pink color to the lips and a little bit of shimmer. It is really pretty. I love it. We're definitely keeping that. Got the Fenty Heat. We're also definitely gonna keep this because I don't have a lot of Fenty products, so I like to keep what I do have. ColourPop's so glassy. Just the different colors is just so pretty. I love, this is like one of my all-time favorite glosses along with Revlon, the gloss. This one is in Frost Queen, I think. And this one is in Lucid, Lucid Dreams. They're just beautiful. So we're definitely keeping those. Another favorite is Juvia's Place Flower Girl. It's just so pretty. Look at that. I'm not big on lip glosses that are like just straight color. So we're gonna declutter that. And then Unicorn Glow from Amazon. I love this. I'm definitely keeping this. It's got like blue shimmer in there and it does make your lips look really nice. And soft and silky so keeping that and this is another just lip oil keeping another lip oil i don't know if i'm gonna keep this we're gonna put that in the maybe pile i don't think i've ever even used this we're gonna let that go another pretty color pop purple gloss definitely keeping that this is from by terry and i don't even know what it is i think it's a lip balm or something for the lip it says Balm de Rose or something like that, but I've never tried it. I have no idea what it's for. It's gonna be decluttered. We just have another little plumper. It doesn't really give color to the lips or anything like that. It's just a tingle gloss and it gives like a shine. We're keeping that. I got this in like a boxy charm or an Ipsy. It is gonna get decluttered. I don't know if I've ever used it or not. Another pretty lip gloss that we're definitely keeping. I got some little like red 
crayons, like lip crayons. So we're probably gonna keep these just so I have some lipstick just in case one day, maybe if I don't end up using it in the next six months or so, we're gonna get rid of it. <laughs> okay, this is actually something that I actually do enjoy. It's like a juicy plumping lipstick. It does kind of tingle, but it gives a really beautiful red shade. Not super red, but red enough. And it just feels really good on the lips. It doesn't go down like fully matte. It does give a really pretty shade to the lips. So we're definitely keeping that. I've got this Galactic. Dude, this thing is so interesting. It's like a jelly, jello gloss balm. I think I'm gonna keep it just because it feels so unusual on the lips. And I like the way it does feel on the lips. And it gives a really nice, just neutral, not matte, just like a little gloss. It feels really good on the lips. So we're definitely gonna keep that. One of my favorite lip oils in the world, but it's been sitting in here collecting dust, but I'm gonna keep it because item beauty is no more. I have one or two in my purse. This may be my backup. We're gonna keep it because item beauty is no more and their lip oils are fantastic. Okay, this is the little elf stain thing. We're gonna declutter this because I don't ever use it. We have a buxom lip gloss. I just don't like the shade and it's been in my make, it's been in this box for a long time. We're gonna get rid of that. And we have a Revlon Color State Satin Ink. I'm not gonna use this either. Declutter. Matte light crayon, declutter, I'm not gonna use it. NYX lip oils here. I think it's time to let these go because I've had them for so freaking long. I just don't use them. Just need to be thrown away because of how long I have had them for. We're gonna let them go. This is a Juvia's Place little lip balm. We're gonna keep it because it, it doesn't really give like much color, but it does feel really nice on the lips. I think I got it in one of their really cheap mystery boxes. Here is some more Jason Wu stuff. We're gonna keep this because I do like their lip plumper and then their everyday lip mask is really nice. So we're gonna keep those. I have a Glam Light lip gloss. Again, I'm not really big on like colored lip glosses and I don't have nude lipsticks or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna declutter that. NYX glitter goals. I've never really noticed that there was like purple glitter in there. That's really pretty, but I know damn well that I'm never going to use it. Really, really pretty, but I am not gonna use it. Then we have these cab lip oils. I'm definitely keeping these because these are fantastic lip oils and I'm not really big on the cab brand as a whole, but their lip oils are fan freaking tastic. They are absolutely amazing. So we're definitely keeping those. Soap and Glory lip plumpers. These are so freaking old that they are going in the trash. And here we just have a little sparkly nude, nude neutral gloss from Violet Voss. We're definitely gonna keep that. And we've got two of the same. One of them hasn't even been opened. It's still sealed and everything. I think I tried this one, so. Maybe I just keep this one and then declutter this just in case. Cause again, it is like a red color. It would go well with that red liquid lip. Maybe we'll just keep that one that's opened and give the other one away. Here is this vintage by Jessica. It's another really pretty lip gloss. It works. So we're gonna keep that. And we got a little lipstick queen, another glitter sparkly gloss. Definitely keeping that. Sephora, we're gonna get rid of that. Probably throw that away because I don't know how old it is. We're gonna keep it because I do think it really felt, it felt really nice on the lips and it gave a light wash of color. It felt like a lip oil or like a lip balm or something like that, but it did feel good on the lips. And we have a Trust Fund Beauty lip oil just with some like gold flakes in it. We are gonna, I don't know if I've ever even tried this. So we're gonna let that go. Here we have another overnight lip mask so I'm gonna keep that. I have a number seven ridiculously old lip gloss and this is why I should have done this a long ass time ago so I would have gotten rid of stuff like this. This is gonna go in the trash because I can guarantee you that this is probably five years old if not longer. It's going in the trash. We have this little Sophia and Maybell fruit lip oil. I do remember trying this and I do remember not liking it at all so I'm gonna declutter it. It doesn't feel like a lip oil. We're gonna declutter it though. So I think that was one of the better ones of like me getting rid of stuff and you know, kind of more evenly split. This is gonna be part one. That being said, I'm gonna put all this up and show you what I've decluttered so far. And then 
I'll show you what we have left. All right, here's what I've decluttered so far from six tubs. I did these two and then these four right here. So now I have this one and then those two on the bottom left and this little thing right here. So far, this is what I've decluttered. It's a lot better than what I expected. I got rid of a ton of lip products and even got rid of some brow products that I never thought I would and setting spray that I was going to keep hoarding. And I even got rid of this Pat McGrath all over body shimmer thing, but just know it's not my color. I'm going to keep adding to this whenever I declutter the eyeshadow palettes and the highlighter and blush and bronzer and stuff like that. So I want to see the full pile after, and then I'm going to go through everything and figure out what I have to throw away because stuff like this I've had for five plus years probably at this point. Same with these little NYX lip oils and this NYX glitter gloss so i need to go through everything and see what i can actually get rid of and give to someone or stuff that i actually do need to throw away because i've had it for so freaking long this is part one of the declutter if you like it you can subscribe and like and leave a comment if you don't you don't have to i'm just here to have fun film what i like doing show you my cat show you what i like like unboxing videos doing makeup doing my lashify lashes because i love lashify or doing like maybe a room tour at some point because my entire room is covered in creepy stuff because it's my favorite genre. Maybe one day, but I'm just here to film what I like, show you what I like. It's just me and my cat. I've cut a lot of people out of my life just because I didn't want to be tempted to relapse and go back to drugs. I'm a recovering addict, so I have, I have to be careful. Being home, doing makeup, playing with lashes, decorating my room in horror stuff or diamond painting or doing stuff like that is what I love to do. I just want to share that with people. So yeah, if you like it, you can subscribe. If you don't, you don't have to. Just here to be happy, spread positivity. And yeah, I'm going to go film Riker sleeping because I always like to put Riker cameos in the video. I also decorated my windows. Hi. Are you sleepy boy? Don't worry, he has these little shoelaces and pant strings and stuff because he loves strings, but he doesn't eat them or lick them or anything like that. He just plays with them. Oh, hello! Oh, stretch, stretch. You're gonna be a good sleepy boy. I love you, okay? He's like, leave me alone, let me take a nap. He hasn't taken a nap all day, so. All right, say bye, YouTube. Say bye. He's so mad. <laughs>